My master. Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. What they gave Such ingratitude. Fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Celestial Court welcomes you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. Countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they said that his remains lie within it. 
<laughs> Unbegotten, undying. Such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them. Not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuaguo, he may yet rise again. around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. <laughs> you sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! <laughs> for pluck your hair and make an offer. have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once 
It was bustling with worshippers before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh, that's a tough one. Good luck to you! It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand.
There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young ones these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach them a lesson with your new spell! Here am I just...
Wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore. But beware, this form does not last for long. Should you find yourself inside, just follow my voice. Now, off you go. When I was abandoning these parts, there's plenty to hunt. And those wolves came from nowhere. What was that noise? Those pups must be drunk. Back when I was abandoning. <laughs>
Keep quiet. You don't want to set off that beast. In the backyard is Black Wingwai's ally. Calls itself Lady Schutze. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, get away while you can, little monkey. Once you pass that gate, there's no turning back. Deserving reward for that fight. Long bound by worldly cage, now free in nature's sage. Hmm. Have you seen those nameless souls adrift on your path? Their wheels float aloft, never to fade. Shame, your god serves little purpose. And mine answers solely to me. Hmm. I know a way to guide the souls, mend their paths, and set them free. It will aid you. Hmm. Hmm. This is better. This gourd. Though humble, may save the lost. 
banish their obsessions and guide them. For one as destined as you, there can be no turning back. We are like tumbleweeds, drifting through life with a destiny beyond us. Yeah. <laughs> 
obsession obsessed. You. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead? Take them out. Once and for all. <laughs> These snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. Stake, you're one more monkey from Mount Huaguo. Uh, I've met many of you. My <laughs> rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. <laughs> Remember, young friend, a sip makes one tipsy, many sips make. <laughs>
You have forced my hand. Now you shall face what I truly am. I'm merely my brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny's bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed and fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. Five hundred years. I have rebuilt the temple. Now it's grander in scope. All those monks consumed by the fire turn to wandering ghosts roaming in Black Wind Mountain. It was I who granted them eternal repose. I have even restored the charred scriptures, piece by piece. <laughs> but oh yes, I always do. One day you shall return! <laughs> the summit if you dare! <laughs> the spell he 
just cast may appear intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs>
再见，情，千万缘，色与空，弹指间，轮回路，若万次劫，求不得。Puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya, how shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? 